Hello class. In this class, we will study the Marshall rate of substitution. See, this is the cause of why IC curve is convex to the origin. And this is the answer to it that is marginal rate of substitution. Now let's understand what is marginal rate of substitution. It is a rate at which consumer is willing to sacrifice one good to obtain one more unit of the other good. Right? See, if you have two goods, say good X and good Y, and you want to substitute X in place of Y which means that you have to buy x more and sacrifice y. In this case, x is substituted for y, means you are consuming one more unit of x in place of y. Now, how much uh, good x, uh, good y you have to sacrifice in order to get one extra good of x, that is the rate of mar uh, marginal rate of substitution. See the MRS is calculated by change in the quantity of the good sacrificed. Here, good y is sacrificed for good x is the obtained. You are obtaining good x and you are sacrificing good y. Upon change in the quantity of the good obtained. This is the formula to calculate the marginal rate of substitution. Now let us understand with the help of example. This is the example. These are the combinations A, B, C, D. These are the units you can buy. See A, B, C, D. This is an indifferent set. Means a consumer is indifferent among these combinations. He is getting the equal level of satisfaction from all these combinations. This we have done earlier, your indifferent set. So this is your marginal rate of substitution. Now see, your marginal rate of substitution you calculate, the change in the quantity of the good sacrifice, what are you sacrificing in this table? Your y, right? So change in y divided by change in x. What was, What is the change in y? Earlier it was 8, now it has come to 4. So 4 minus 8 divided by 2 minus 1. This minus 4 divided by 1. See now you are getting uh, this in minus 4. Let me explain you. Why do we take it in an absolute number that is only 4. And again if we see marginal rate of substitution we calculate. 2 minus 4 divided by 3 minus 2, we again get minus 2 by 1. So we will take it as 4. See, if we compare minus 4 to minus 2, definitely the marginal rate of substitution is increasing as your negative uh, sign, your number, your number has a negative sign in front of it and it is reducing means that number is increasing, right? It's going towards 0 towards number 9. But if you take it in an absolute 
manner let's say 4 and 2 so it's very easy to compare in this your marginal rate of substitution is decreasing and this is the law that holds in economics that is your marginal rate of substitution keeps on declining as more and more of good y is sacrificed for one additional unit of good x because you will be sacrificing less and less of y for one additional unit of x so that is your diminishing marginal rate of substitution marginal rate of substitution so you will be sacrificing less and less of y for one additional unit of x right so this was your marginal rate of substitution